Uh, you all have been down to ground zero, my friends, and you know that 10 years after the terrible events of 911, they still haven't been agree, able to agree on a memorial. The state has been fighting with the city. The city has been fighting with the Port Authority. The Port Authority has been fighting with Larry Silverstein, the developer. There's nothing there. So there's no monument. So what would you say if I told you there is a monument? Let me show it to you. Bayonne, New Jersey. <laughs> Bayonne, New Jersey. And there's the skyline of New York, and this is a little park. Let me show it to you in close-up. There it is. Two-thirds as high as the Statue of Liberty. Would you believe it? Two-thirds as high as the Statue of Liberty. A very beautiful monument in the shape of a teardrop because the sculptor said that when he heard the news of 911, he cried, and that gave him the inspiration for this. It's dedicated to the struggle against world terrorism. So why didn't you and I ever hear of it? I didn't even, I think I know New York very well, but I never heard about it until about six months ago. So what's the story? Let me tell you. This is the teardrop in giant close-up. What happened was that the sculptor was a man who was the director of the Moscow Museum of Fine Art, of, excuse me, of Modern Art. And about the year 2006, according to the official story, which I don't believe, he came to New York and he looked at Ground Zero to see for a suitable site for the sculpture he had in mind. And according to the official story, he decided that wasn't the place for it. I don't believe that, but that's what the story says. So then he went, from now on, what I'm going to tell you is the truth. He then went to Bayonne, New Jersey, excuse me, to Jersey City, New Jersey. And he offered his sculpture to the mayor of Jersey City. And he showed him pictures of what he planned and drawings and everything. And the mayor said, it's beautiful. We'll take it. Yes, we want it. So they announced it, they called a press conference the next morning and the mayor announced this beautiful memorial to the victims of 911 was going to be built in Jersey City. Well, about a week later, there was another press conference in Jersey City. The artists colony in Jersey City called a conference and they said, what right did the mayor have to accept a gift like that? He's a politician, he's not an artist. What right has he got to, to pass judgment on a work of art? And it was so embarrassing politically to the mayor that he finally felt compelled to withdraw the invitation. So then the sculptor went to Bayonne, New Jersey, and he offered it to the mayor of Bayonne. And the mayor said, yes, it's beautiful. We'll take it. We'll build it. And we'll have a public fundraising drive to build it. And they went and they raised, and they raised some money, and about six months later, the mayor of Bayonne had to call the sculptor and say to him, I'm embarrassed, I'm sorry, but we raised only $40,000 and that's not enough to build it. So I have to withdraw the invitation. So the sculptor said, don't worry, I'll pay for it out of my own pocket. Well, that was ridiculous because it was the Russian government that was really going to pay for it. So President Putin of Russia came over here in 2006 went to Bayonne, broke ground for it, and it was, ra it was raised and completed, built and completed, and in 2008, pre former President Bill Clinton went over and dedicated. And you can go over and see it, and if you can find the road that will take you to it, you drive along a road, a back road, and then finally you get to a side road, two miles long, over broken concrete, and it goes right out endlessly over weeds and, and dirt and everything else, and finally you get to the memorial and there it is. And that's the, that there it is, absolutely unknown. I will tell you that if you Google it, as I did, trying to find out the story, you'll find only two or three or four items about the whole thing. It's the most unknown monument in New York and I think the reason is pretty obvious. Everyone was embarrassed that it was the Russians that were doing it rather than somebody in the, in the United States or in New York.